Hi guys, I'm Chelston Pinto. I'm a certified strength and conditioning coach. Today I'm here to speak about agility and agility movements. First thing, why is agility important? Agility is basically change of direction with speed. From an athlete's point of view, for any sport, or for most sports, you will have to change direction. It's not just about running in one direction. To train these different movements is very important. Secondly, for uh, someone to just use in their day-to-day -day life, even while you're walking, while you're moving from side to side or front to back, you will need specific movements that you would like to practice in the gym or anywhere that you are before you know really attempting to do it in a high intensity way. So here we are today, we'll uh, speak about four different movements. First one is the lateral shuffle on your right hand side. Second in, right, right, uh, the lateral shuffle on your left hand side. Then we have the third step over on your right and step over on your left. All right, so movement number one is the side shuffle. First thing is to have uh, yourself in a quarter squat position so that you push your hip back. You're using your glutes and your quads as the main muscles to move from side to side. Second thing is you will need to have your feet in line with your shoulder so that you're moving and not getting your feet close to each other. Keep your feet wide. From there, you just shuffle from one side to another and try and keep it as simple as possible, keeping a straight back and squeeze your core. One common mistake that people make is standing too upright. All right? You don't want to stand too upright because then you can't really change direction fast. You can just go from one side uh, and focus only on that side. You cannot really move your feet to another side. But if you stay low, all right, you're using most of your major muscles and it's easier for you to turn and change in direction. Okay, the next movement is the step over. All right, so the step over into a lateral shuffle. It's gonna be the same movement, just that you're gonna step over. If you wanna to move to your left hand side, your right foot will keep stepping over the left. All right, and you'll try and keep moving. Stay as low as possible. Make sure your hip is down into a quarter squat and your feet again in line with your shoulder. All right, so for more details, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also like and share on Facebook and Instagram and leave a comment for any questions. We'll see you soon. Thank you.